Sitting over by the vending machines when it happened, which are towards the, let's see, it would be the west, east end of the building. And at first, when the first shot went off, I thought it was just a loud balloon. So I turned to look, and then I see Miss McQueen wrestling with a student and a gun. So my only reaction was to get the people sitting with me out of the building as fast as I could. So first, I ended up throwing uh, my friend Julia under a table, and then when the gun shots continued, I tried to push her out from under the table and get her out of the building. Nathan Barrett was in the Mattoon High School cafeteria when a fellow student opened fire. He says once the room was filled with gunfire, people started panicking. Are we all going to be safe? What's going to happen? Is anyone hurt? We all ran towards the main exit leading up to the sports office, and then it was a huge clutter. People were pushing over each other. Others were just falling and shaking on the ground. So me and my brother were actually trying to pick people up and push them through the doors and to get everyone out. Mattoon police say it wasn't long before school resource officers were on scene. The school resource officer and school officials headed to the cafeteria where they heard the shots fired. The suspect fired shots in the school cafeteria before he was subdued and disarmed. Mattoon Police Chief Jeff Branson says a teacher stepped in to help and subdue the shooter. The suspect was actually apprehended by a teacher. The suspect was contained, secured, and the one victim that was uh, involved in the shooting was transported to Sarah Bush Hospital. Chief Branson says the victim is a student. I think it's going to happen, but it happened, but I can tell you that the school Employees, along with, as you see, all the law enforcement behind me, which I'll mention in a minute, responded outstandingly. Mattoon School Superintendent Larry Lilly says the school was immediately put on lockdown and students were transported to Riddle Elementary. The injured students' parents were notified and all students were transported to Riddle Elementary School to be released to their parents. Parents also in a panic rushed to pick up their children after news of the shooting. Hurry up and get it out of there, come get my kid. I drove like 60 down the road just to, with hazard lights just to get here. There's about a lot of panic. Like, And then we heard the thing saying that it was a lockdown and then we got how to get out even though it was a lockdown. This kind of thing here, you hear about it in Chicago, but you don't hear about it in a small little town of Mattoon. Authorities say the investigation is ongoing and right now they aren't releasing a motive. We are saddened that this event has happened and we will provide counseling to the students in need. We will continue to work with the emergency personnel to determine what happened. We appreciate the quick response of school staff and first responders. Most importantly, we offer our thoughts and prayers to the injured student and all who are affected by this tragedy. In Mattoon, I'm Kelly Goodwin for WEIU Newswatch.